Okay, now I'm going to show you how I wrap Jaeger's ears. Um, he has all these little short bits that when you put the wrap in, these little short bits stay out and then they get in his mouth and it's gross. And then he keeps them short because he keeps eating them. So what I do is I will take a band and I will band this together up here. So I just part um, just a little bit of this front ear coat It's not a whole lot. Um, the edge of his ear is right here. Um, he's got a lot of hair, so it looks like it's probably looks like it's farther in the ear than it is. Um, make sure that you're not pulling any of this under hair because that's going to be really uncomfortable. So just kind of check that and make sure that you're only getting, you know, the ear coat um, from the front in there. Um, and then sometimes I will miss this a little bit with Progro, um, just to kind of keep it from staticky all over me. Then I'll take this band and I will band this in a downward direction so it's going to be the way that the coat wants to lay anyway. Um, and I'll just kind of wrap that around a couple times. Not too tight, um, but just tight enough it's going to kind of hold it. Um, and then that way that keeps these short coat hair with some longer coat so that you can get that in the wrap. Um, I have these wraps here from uh, the Color Coordinated Canine. I really like them because they have a bunch of different colors. So I will fold this over twice so that there is no sharp edges against his ear. Uh, you don't want anything that's going to cut the coat because that'll kind of undo the whole thing that you're doing wrapping it. Um, so then I just kind of make sure that all this coat is forward and that there's no tanglies in there and that it's all nice and neat. And so I'll just pull all this forward and with the underneath, I will feel where the end of his ear is um, because you absolutely never want to get anything on the ear leather. If you do, I'm sure most of you realize, but if you have a band that's around their ear that you can damage their ear permanently. Um, and that is very painful and nobody wants to do that to their baby. So I feel where the end of that ear leather is and then I will start my wrap and he's got so much hair. It is, Lots of fun sometimes doing this, but I kind of pinch it with my first finger and my thumb as I'm going around here, and I'm sure this is going to be really fun for me trying to talk myself through it. But uh, So then I'll pull this around over that and hold down with my thumb, and I just kind of keep tucking all of that ear hair in this wrap. So then I'll switch my hands and flip that around the back. And just kind of keep pulling this tight and organized here and then I'll wrap that the rest of the way around and I will just kind of make sure I have this together so then I will run my fingers down and kind of pull that tight then I will flip this over tuck that back in I make sure that I don't have my wrap past the beginning. Um, you don't want to have those sharp edges, you know, same reason you fold this, you don't want these sharp edges against the hair. So I fold that in half almost, and then I do thirds. So then I'm going to do that in a third and a third. So then I'll hold on to this, and I'll take one of my bands, and then I will wrap it pretty much as tight as I can get it around there so that he can't work that out. Sometimes it's difficult to get it really tight. But then the most important thing to me when I'm wrapping, you know, I'll tug on it a little bit, make sure it's not going to fall out. The very most important thing to me, though, is that you take your comb and you check and make sure that there's no ear leather in there. And if you get in that habit, you'll never have to worry that you've gotten an ear in there. But that is how I wrap Jaeger's ears. And you always, also, you always want to make sure that you kind of do it down and forward or else they're going to stick out like Pippi Longstocking when you get done. But that's how I do his ears.